Welcome to Scan and joining me today is Sam Smallwood from AMD who's here to talk about the new Radeon WX series. Thank you very much for joining us Sam. Thank you very much, it's a pleasure to be here. Good stuff, exciting times. Before we talk about the individual graphics cards, give us a little overview of what we're talking about today. Sure thing. Um, so as you mentioned we're here to launch the new uh, Radeon Pro WX series of cards. Uh, these are the latest professional graphics cards from AMD. Uh, they're based on a new Polaris architecture, so it's a new architecture on a new processed node. Um, which is yielding performance gains of up to 2x compared with our previous generation of cards and massive gains in power efficiency as well. We're also wanting to showcase uh, the new warranty that we're, uh, we're issuing with these cards. So you get your standard three-year OEM warranty with them, as you normally would, uh, but end users can register within 45 days to actually get a seven-year extension on that. So a total of 10 years of warranty support from AMD on these cards. Wow, now that is impressive and confidence for you. Indeed, yeah, we're, we're very, very confident about the way these cards are gonna last. Fantastic. Well, there's three cards in the array, so talk us through each of them. Sure thing. So there's, there's starting at the entry level, we've got the uh, Redin Pro WX4100, um, which is a card offering mid-range performance in a low-profile form factor. So it's got four gigs of memory on board, uh, it's got four mini DisplayPort outputs, and that means it can drive four displays quite happily all the time, giving you decent mid-range CAD performance, but in a small form factor chassis. So a nice, compelling offering there. Um, moving up to the next one, we've got the WX5100. Uh, which is the kind of mainstream mid-range CAD card. Uh, that's got eight gigs of memory on board, so double the previous generation there. Um, ideal for loading and manipulating large CAD models all on the GPU, um, offering great performance there, but with no extra power requirements. Taking a step to the upper end, we've got the uh, Radeon Pro WX7100 on display just here, um, which is a high-end card in a single slot form factor. Uh, this thing is capable of actually displaying VR content, so high resolution, high frame rate, quite happily. Um, so that's making a big splash in the professional space right now, and this is a very, very high-performing card for that. So three great products there really is something for everybody, isn't there? Indeed, certainly in the professional space, yeah. Fantastic. So in your own words then, why buy professional rather than consumer? Well, um, professional graphics cards are designed specifically for professional applications. Um, so there's, rather than just buying the card itself, you actually buy into the whole software stack that goes behind it as well. Um, but starting with the cards themselves, whenever you buy a professional card from AMD, you're buying an AMD card. You're not buying a card made by a third party board manufacturer, you're buying something that was engineered and designed by AMD. We can offer this extended warranty because we're confident in the design and engineering on that card. Whenever you buy one of those, you buy the same card and you always know that it's gonna be as reliable as it can be. Um, that folds into what we do with the OEMs and the ISVs. So that reliability piece uh, links up with what we do with the ISVs, the independent software vendors. Uh, so we work very closely with them to ensure that the combination of graphics card and graphics driver is certified to work on their applications. So. When you buy a, a certified graphics card and use a certified driver on it, you know that the ISV has tested that application with that card and that driver to make sure that they all perform as expected, they are completely stable, and they're completely reliable. So they continue to work all of the time. It results in the best productivity for, their, for the customer's end users. Um, you want your engineers to be able to come in and do a full eight hour day without any interruptions, and that's what the certified driver and card combo offers. That also offers you a greater level of support. So if anything does go wrong at any point with your application, if you're using a certified graphics card, we can help you. So we can help to investigate the issue. We can engage with the ISV to say, right guys, we're getting this display crash here or whatever. Um, we can help to support that. We can help to engage with the right teams there and we can get that issue fixed. That does not exist with consumer cards. Um, at the same time, that results in an extra level of performance. So all of our uh, professional cards have professional drivers with them, and those drivers are optimized for the engines you find in professional applications. So NX, Creo, SolidWorks, all of those and many others have specific engines that we optimize for, as opposed to the consumer cards, which tend to be optimized for game engines, Unity, Unreal, that kind of thing. Um, those optimizations mean that a low-end card, for example, the WX4100, can easily outperform a mid-range, higher power consumer graphics card because the tuning in the driver is such that the performance will be better. So ultimately, reliability and peace of mind. Yeah, it, it's predictability. It's making sure that your end user knows what they're gonna get all of the time. Fabulous. And AMD are doing some fantastic things for professional users. Talk us through what some of those things are. So 
Again, linking in with the ISV stuff there, we're actually introducing new features all the time to uh, optimise these applications. So a nice example is order independent transparency. It's something that AMD actually developed in-house and we've offered the code out free to anybody that wants to use it. The guys at SolidWorks have taken that up and they've introduced this transparency feature into SolidWorks, I think in 2012 actually. And every subsequent generation of SolidWorks has had new features built in based on OIT. So it's a really handy feature just there. Um, that's based on open standards, and AMD are very much behind the whole open standard thing. These, the, the professional applications are built on OpenGL. We support that fully. We're entirely behind it. Uh, our cards can also be used as compute cards as well as display cards using OpenCL, the compute libraries. Um, and that, again, fully open source, fully available for anybody to use. It's cross-platform. We support that entirely. Um, and indeed, we've got an open source Linux driver coming out now. Uh, so th this is the first time we've actually had a fully open source driver for Linux. Uh, it's a new development for us, and it's a, a nice indication of our support for open standards there. Um, to add to all of this, we're also uh, there are a few new initiatives that are being worked on with the Radeon Pro launch. So uh, we've got Project Loom, which is uh, designed for 360 video. It allows you to take input from up to 24 cameras simultaneously and stitch that content live as it's being recorded on the GPU. So it uses our direct GMA technology to pass the data directly into the GPU and get it processed right there. 360 video is obviously quite a big thing for virtual reality. And to optimize that VR experience, we've also introduced the Liquid VR SDK, uh, which is a subset of what's going to go into Vulkan that allows you to optimize specific apps aspects of what your application is doing for a virtual reality environment. Now when Vulkan comes along, that code base you've developed for Liquid VR will simply slot right in. There's no recoding required. So it makes life a little easier for people trying to make their VR experience as smooth and as performant as it can be. Um, and probably the biggest thing we're doing uh, is a development called ProRender. Uh, so this is a, a GPU ray tracing engine. Um, which is, again, fully open source, based on OpenCL. Um, so it's cross-platform, supports our graphics cards and others. Um, it's got several plugins available already. Um, it's been developed in-house by AMD, and it's designed to allow you to do ray-traced rendering on the GPU. Uh, so as I mentioned, we've got plugins for 3ds Max and Maya currently. Uh, there are plugins for Rhino and SolidWorks 2015 on the way, and there are many others in development as well, including a standalone pro render application in itself. So plenty of things ongoing there that AMD are doing to support the whole professional graphics market. So some really cool stuff there. Uh, thank you very much for coming in today, telling us about AMD no and the WX series. Where can people find out more information? So then? there is plenty more detail available on AMD's website, uh, and indeed you can buy the cards today from Scan and find out more information there. You can indeed, Sam. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. And don't forget to check out more on Scan's website.